Hey guys, hey everyone. Thank you for being here and uh, welcome to Optimum's uh, today's seminar about discount strategies, uh, which I believe is a highly relevant topic to uh, most marketers. Let me quickly share my screen. Um, All right, so um, let's see first, uh, what will you learn about today? Um, first of all, I will talk about why discounts are working in the first place. Um, once you've understood uh, the psychology of uh, discounting, I guess you will be able to, to really figure out your own uh, strategy, which works the best for you. And of course, there's also quite, quite some uh, potential dangers, uh, some side effects of uh, discounting, uh, which need to be avoided. Uh, fortunately, I will share with you five uh, top strategies, uh, which will help you get the most out of your, your discounts and also it will, it will have, uh, also help you avoid these uh, potential mistakes. Uh, and finally, I will share with you four advanced tactics to compete against uh, discount pricing. Um, these will, these uh, tactics will help you decrease uh, the amount of uh, discounts and your dependency on discounts while also getting the same results without the negative side effects. All right, so uh, let's get into it. Uh, first of all, um, let's see how popular discounting is. Well, actually, according to numbers, 97% uh, of all merchants, retailers use some kind of uh, discounting. Basically, that's everyone. Everyone is using some kind of discounts. Uh, and the popularity of discounts haven't decreased uh, since the pandemic. Actually, 60% of all U.S. consumers say that they are even more influenced by discounts since the onset of the uh, pandemic. And according to Shopify's uh, Future of E-Commerce report, 52% of all uh, users say that they are very much influenced uh, to hit the buy button if they are offered a discount. And it's, and it's not just low-income um, households, but it's also high-income individuals. Uh, so it's really for everyone. So, uh, so why is that? Why... Uh, why do discounts work in the first place so well? Um, according to psychologists, uh, the first and main reason is that discounts makes you feel smart. Um, what does it mean? It's, it, it makes you savvy. It makes you resourceful. It, 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 you feel better. Uh, you feel that you are more clever than the, than the sucker who paid full price. Basically, that's it. Um, the second uh, main reason is that it anchors the value. So even though you paid like 100 bucks for, for a, a product, if the original price was $200 and you did the communication well, uh, it anchors the value at the higher, at the original price at $200. And the value and price ratio improves a lot. And finally, there's uh, numerous studies showing that getting discounts and receiving discounts actually um, actually make you happy. Um, that's it. Um, your oxytocin levels increase, your satisfaction increases. Um, it's just that we, as people, we love uh, discounts. But of course, there's also a few potential negative side effects of discounting. The first of them is, well, obviously, is the, uh, that you... Um, sac sacrifice some margin, your profitability is reduced. And um, economists have been uh, fighting, discussing this topic a long, for, for a long time. And whether you should optimize for bigger sales and lower margins, or should you rather optimize your profit margins in the first place? Well, that's, um, that's a discussion and it's, there's no easy answer to that. Um, uh, the second danger is, uh, is about conditioning. So uh, if you discount too much too often, people, your customers will get used to it. And once they get used to it, well, they won't feel that smart 
uh, of getting your discounts. They don't feel the urgency because they know that, well, another one is coming soon, right? Um, number one, no, sorry, number three is that it can hurt the brand perception. And that's why uh, the top um, high fashion brands like Louis Vuitton never go on sale. Um, if you if you if you are doing discounting wrong, uh, it can lower the uh, brand, uh, the, the the value perception of your products. Why? Because even though the original value was two hundred, if you do it too regularly, if you, if you, if it if it feels that it's always not two hundred, but it's really a hundred dollar on average, then this will be the value which will be anchored in uh, in the in the customer's head. And finally, uh, there's a thing that's called too much discount. Um, yeah, there's an economist term called uh, uh, price elasticity. It means that uh, the lower the price, the higher the demand, the more your customers will actually buy. But it's true only up to a point. Um, if you offer a 20% discount, it will improve uh, your sales. Maybe it will improve with like uh, 20 percent uh, um, but if you double this discount to 40 percent it doesn't mean that this improvement in sales will also double so you have to find the right balance uh, between you know uh, sacrificing uh, the margins and imp improving uh, the sales so um, uh, there are as you can see uh, quite some dangers uh, which you have to avoid Fortunately, using these top five strategies, which I'm going to uh, introduce to you, uh, these will these will definitely help if uh, to uh, really uh, get the most out of your discounts without actually hurting your brand. So, let's see number one. The number one strategy is that you always need to make your discounts feel special, um, even if you are doing discounts all year round. Your customer, especially your first time customers, but preferably also returning customers, should feel that the discounts you are giving them is, is, is special. It's, it's just, just for now, it's just for them. Um, if they feel that it's a discount that's available for everyone for any time, then they will definitely not feel so savvy, so smart of getting this discount. And the positive side effect of discounts will uh, vanish. Um, a good way to make uh, your discounts feel special, to always give them some kind of seasonal flavoring. Like uh, there's, there's always a new season, some new opportunity uh, coming. Like uh, we have Valentine's Day, we have Eastern, we have Mother's Day. And even in the middle of the summer, where there's no real holiday, you can do a midsummer sale, for example. Uh, just always repackaging your deals will will help a lot uh, in the perception that your that, that your uh, your discounts are, are are special. Another good way, or I, I would say, an even better way, is to uh, differentiate your your discounts and communicate based on some kind of user user property. So, for example, like a referral source. If you have a huge chunk of your traffic, your visitors coming from some uh, source like Forbes magazine or some other source, you can give them a special welcome, a special discount, uh, welcoming them because they are coming from that magazine. Or, for example, if you are working with a lot of influencers like Blanchett does, then you can give a special discount for uh, for each users who is get who, who who got the the referral from one of these influencers it will not only make these visitors feel more special but it will also it will it will it will, it will also beneficial for the influencers because they will also feel more special of being able to be uh, being able to, to provide these special discounts uh, to their audience um a mistake that a lot of companies do, even if they communicate that uh, their discount is special, is that they use some generic fixed discount code like 10 off. Um, I mean, people are not stupid. Uh, so they, they surely realize that this, these 10 off coupon codes are uh, 
are, are generic and they are not going to end uh, in, in, in three days or in uh, uh, 15 minutes. Uh, we've noticed that even just changing uh, this uh, easy, to un easy to remember, easy to read, simple discount codes to some random generated character strings uh, will also improve the, uh, the conversion rate and the redemption rate of your coupon codes. But the, the, the best is, is definitely if you really generate and give everyone a unique discount code with a unique expiration date. And of course, if you also follow up. Um, fortunately, with Optimunk, you can, well, first of all, e either upload a, a list of unique coupon codes or even better, you can automatically generate these coupon codes and give everyone uh, just... Uh, in that in, in in that second and generate one one specific uh, coupon code when they sign up. All right. So number one was to make your discounts feel special. Uh, strategy number two is to make your customers earn it. Um, this is one of the surest way to make your uh, discounts feel special. Uh, volume pricing is a great way to earn it. And it's a it's 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 uh, widely employed, uh, offering uh, more and more discounts based on how much price they are spending, with, how much money they are spending with you, or buy two and get one off, or buy five and get two off. These are very popular methods. Or of course, bundling. If you bundle three products together and put some special price on this bundle, it will. Uh, decrease the price, but it will not decrease the value. The overall value of this package will mostly remain the same in the eyes of the customers. Uh, one of the best ways to, uh, to make your customers feel special is are loyalty programs. If they do something, uh, for example, they spend enough money or they, uh, they click on, they fill out a form or they, 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 they do something with, with, with it, they earn these special discounts um, and of course it works really well for returning customers um, if you are if you are uh, giving uh, them special discounts but it but it doesn't only apply to returning customers it also works really well with new customers um, with new customers you can ask for example just a question um, and make them work, make them click on an option. You can ask a, ask a, a question regarding their problems. Problem lead, problem related questions are usually working the best. And um, after they click on uh, these options, they will get a 15 or 10 percent discount off. So basically, here you are not right away offering a discount. Not, it's, it's not the, the main value proposition, but rather you are making them work. You are asking uh, for an answer and you incentivize this answer with a discount. This is what we call conversational pop-ups. And um, the, usually the conversion rate of such a conversational pop-up uh, can be usually like, like double of regular, simple, uh, here's, a, here's your 10% off um, welcome pop-up. Um, Another great way to make your customers earn the discount is to give it as a thank you gift if they fill out a form. For example, uh, if they share their experience, their purchase experience after, after the purchase, like even on the thank you page, uh, and incentivizing it with a 10% or 20% of discount for the next purchase is the surest way to uh, establish the, the second uh, the second purchase and to make uh, make them return. All right, so that was strategy number two. Uh, now let's see strategy number three, which is to always give discounts a deadline. Um, if users feel that the discount is never ending, it's always there, then it's it, it, they again it won't feel special. It it it, it won't feel that uh, that they are. They are smart if they, they buy right now. Uh, the easiest way, of course, is this seasonal packaging. Um, if you are doing a Halloween sale or Black Friday say, sale, um, then these seasons uh, include the end date, and it's obvious that it will go away. 
or you can do a very short time uh, like countdowns um, 15 15 minutes or you can do flash sales which can last from one day to two days or it can be any time again the main point is that uh, the users should feel that this discount this promotion you are offering is not forever but it's it has some limitation it should have some urgency uh, included in it another great way is to uh, give uh, provide gradually decreasing discounts you get more discounts if you buy sooner which can uh, even even if your your uh, discount lasts for for a week each day has this an increasing pressure on the consumer to uh, make the decision and the sooner they buy the more clever they feel all right so the strategy number uh, three so let's see strategy number four is to optimize the discount value um, as i've said first of all there's there's a thing called too much discounts finding uh, the right value is is uh, is not not obvious uh, usually a b testing is a great way to actually uh, find uh, the best the best version and there's also um, a rule we call the rule of 100 uh, the rule of 100 states that if your average basket value or your average uh, product value is below $100 then in general it's better to provide percentages like like 10% 10% or 20% discount but if your uh, average cart value is above $100, then it might make more sense to rather offer like a $25 off uh, coupon. Just the perception of this discount will be better in the eyes of the uh, customers. Um, also, uh, gamification uh, or some sweepstakes or lucky wheel pop up is also a really great way to. Uh, upgrade the the perception of your discounts without actually increasing the average discount value if you have a 25 percent off and a five percent and a ten percent of discount on your lucky wheel for example then uh, if the user will act will uh, win a ten percent discount even though they they haven't uh, won the 25 percent off they will still feel luckier because well they could they could have won the uh, not quite or so close or or or, or a five percent off, uh, and usually uh, the conversion rate of such lucky wheel pop ups again can be about double of a regular simple ten percent of uh, discount pop up. Um, strategy number five is to keep reminding users. Um, the fact that uh, someone actually filled out a form on your website and and asked for a 10% of discount doesn't mean that he or she will actually use it. The average uh, redemption rate of coupon codes range between 10 to 90%, meaning that there are several stores where out, uh, only one out of 10 people will actually use the coupon codes uh, they, they 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 got uh, which, 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 which they won uh, so so what do those companies and those merchants do where the redemption where the redemption rate is closer to 90 percent well they keep reminding users they remind them in sms they remind them in email i'm not sure why the screen is not visible here right now um, and they also remind them while the user is still on site um, sending follow-up reminder emails and SMS is, is, is great it, and you should definitely do it but why don't you remind these users while they are still shopping while they're still on, on your side this is the highest intent uh, state of mind that they can be and not reminding them is definitely a waste of money just using a simple rem a sticky reminder by like uh, bar like this one usually increases the redemption rate of your coupons by more than 20 percent or even better if you not just remind them of the coupon code but you also remind them of the uh 
uh, deadline, the expiration date. Um, it, 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 it's, it's the most obvious, if, of course, if you have some kind of uh, seasonal sale. All right. Uh, so these using these five strategies will help you get the most out of your discounts without actually anchoring the value uh, of your products low. Uh, <clears throat> now, now, let's see. Oh, yeah. I just uh, have one last screen is that uh, setting up a, a coupon uh, reminder, for example, in Optimonk is really super easy. You can just use the follow-up um, setting of your coupon codes. And even if you assigned automatically unique coupon codes to your customers, uh, you just have to set up one simple sticky bar and it will automatically do the, uh, the follow-up and show everyone the right discount code. Um, and... Um, Yes, one extra feature is that uh, even if you remind them, um, it's better if you not just remind them, but if you also automatically apply the coupon codes, meaning that whenever people get to the checkout code, you can automatically redeem basically this coupon code. So they, you, you, you can make sure that they will never forget about the discount codes. Obviously, this feature improves the redemption rate of the coupon codes very well. Uh, we usually see more than 20% increases in redemption rates when this feature is turned on. All right. Um, so these, if, if, you, if you do these five strategies well, your discounts will work super well. Now I will share with you four advanced tactics which will not only make your discounts um, work, but it will help your have to uh, decrease your reliance on uh, discounts and get the same results without actually uh, sacrificing uh, too much margin. Uh, all right, so let's 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 get into it. The first tactic is to help instead of selling. Um, the customer, most of your visitors who visit your website, is, uh, most of them are usually not ready to buy at once. They are usually in an earlier, earlier awareness stage of their user journey. Uh, the later stage, the high intent users who are product or problem, uh, sorry, product or fully aware, the, those customers are usually ready to buy, and and those should be targeted with a with a discount. But the earlier stage users who are unaware or are still in that problem aware stage. They, you can usually give them better help and better value if, to, if you rather educate them, for example. Give them an ebook, a video, or some other kind of education. Or maybe it's just simply you can show them the right product and you can, instead of, again, offering them a discount, hey, these products might be good for you and show them your most popular products or the most popular products in the category, for example. Or if someone is a returning user, then again, definitely not a discount, not a welcome discount is the best way to help them. Rather, you can have them continue where they have left off last, uh, last time. You can use a recently used product module, for example, like Burberry does, and show them uh, the products which they visited the, in the previous session, in that previous visit to your website. All right. So that's tactic number one. The tactic number two is to offer non-monetary incentives. Um, Blendjet offers uh, uh, three free jetpacks with each uh, Blendjet purchase. The cost of these uh, uh, three uh, jetpacks is maybe a couple of dollars. I'm not, uh, not, not exactly sure, but the value, the value of these jetpacks is definitely higher than the actual cost of these products. In many cases, uh, finding the right product, which you can add, which you can basically bundle with each uh, purchase, um, well, it can definitely improve the perception of these, uh, uh, these gifts, these, these uh, incentives. Or um, you can just offer free shipping. I guess most of you already know that people hate paying for uh, shipping and um, offering a free shipping instead of offering the same cost, you know, the cost of the, the free shipping as a discount 
usually works much better. Um, and of course, um, offering some kind of sweepstakes. Um, hey, you win some, um, some product. It doesn't, as you can see, for example, in this case, it doesn't have to be a super ex expensive product, but it can be uh, the, the higher value and the most um, prestige, more, more expensive the product, uh, the higher, the, the better the value of this offer is. These can also work really well in, um, in list building. And um, you can also work on um, the mystery of um, the curiosity, curiosity of, 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 of the users. A message like this one, you qualify for a mystery offer. I mean, here, as you can see in this offer, you, you really mention nothing. You give away nothing. It can be the worst offer ever still. Offers like this usually convert above 10%, which is really, really nice. And of course, it's really up to you what will this mystery offer will actually uh, cover. Uh, tactic number three, is, which is getting more popular nowadays, is to, to really to give back with each purchase. Um, if, you, if you stand for some values, for example, and which uh, if, if you're related to, to some kind of charity, uh, you can offer to, uh, for example, give a product, or you, you can buy, uh, uh, if someone buys one of your products, you can plant a tree. Plant a tree. Or as Barbie Parker does, um, you can uh, offer to give a pair if someone buys a pair. Um, and finally, uh, tactics number four is to highlight your main value proposition. Um, Pop-ups are not only good for... Um, giving away discounts, but you can definitely help them make the right decision just by reminding them really why should they buy from you or why should they buy your product. Often it's as simple as your guarantee. If you have some outstanding guarantee like the or like Orbis does, then you can just communicate this uh, special uh, guarantee. Um, the main theme of all these tactics as you probably see, is that instead of just giving away everyone some discount, you try to create value for these customers. You always try to be helpful and you try to help them in, 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 in just the right phase of their user journey. So this is what we call customer value optimization. Um, this webinar is, uh, is too short to cover the whole concept, but I highly recommend you to download this uh, free ebook uh, which I wrote, uh, The Definitive Guide to Customer Value Optimization. And uh, my promise is that after reading it, you will much better understand uh, your customers and why they are, why they buy and why they don't buy. And it will give you a lot of ideas on how you can better help them in uh, at, at each phase of their uh, user journey. Uh, well, that was it. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and I uh, wish you a very successful e-commerce business. All right. So uh, now if you, any of you have any questions, I'm, I'm glad to answer. So will you get access to the presentation? Yes. Yes, definitely. Uh, and are you able to link any of these studies at the end? Yeah, uh, the, the truth is that uh, tomorrow uh, we are sending out uh, an article which, which is uh, based on this today's presentation and this article. All the links will be included uh, to these studies. So you will be able to learn more about these numbers. And actually, I must admit, there will be also some extra tips also covered in this article. So even if you if you if you like this presentation and it, if it gave, gave you some ideas, I still recommend uh, reading uh, this article. <clears throat> All right. Where can we get the book? So it's uh, optimonk.com/cvo. This link should be working, and yes, it does. It's free. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, like uh, forty or fifty pages. Not too short, but not too long. 
but I promise that I, it's, a, it's a really dense and uh, useful reading material. So I highly recommend uh, reading it. All right. Is there any questions? If not, I would love to thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I wish you all a beautiful day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.